Hello there, this is Carlo and welcome to another exciting tutorial. So, uh, we're going to be doing some Iron Man effects here today. So I'm going to show you how to create the HUD effect, um, as you saw in the teaser trailer uh, on my channel. And yeah, let's get cracking. So I've just got a piece of footage shot on the green screen of me being an idiot and looking around, as you can see. And we're just going to work with this. So I'm just going to go back to uh, the beginning of the footage. And basically the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mask myself out. Which is obvious. Okay, so I'm going to go around my head. Like so. Getting the green screen in. And just cut myself out like that. Now I'm going to apply a key in effects. So I'll go back here. So I'm going to go to effects, keying, key like 1.2, I'm going to get my dab bar, click anywhere in the green, and then I'm going to go to screen mat, open my screen mat source, and I'm going to bring my whites down, so my whites are all white, and I'm going to punch black up, so we've got a perfect black um, outline, like so. So, you don't really have to finish with all this, because we're going to fade this out anyway, so... Let's just go back to final result. Cool. So let's just play that back. Uh, we've got a bit over. Okay, so if that happens, all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the cuts a little bit longer so we just stay in the rhythm. So let's go back to where we come off the screen. So I wanna go to here, to about here, and just make sure that you actually stay in the whole piece of footage. It doesn't matter about your bottom part, like your shirt or whatever, or your neckline, because we're going to get rid of that in a second. So we're still coming off the screen there. It doesn't matter because we're going to fade that out anyway. Cool. Okay. So we've done that now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to track um, this footage. So I'm going to select my footage. I'm also going to go to animation, track camera, and I'm going to track my lips because that is the more poignant part of my body that can be tracked. I'm just going to cover, normally you would track the eyes or the eyebrows, but for this particular, I'm just going to track the length of my lips here. Cool. Now before we hit the track button, I'm going to create a new solid, uh, sorry, a new null object, like so, and that will be for our tracking data. And then I'm just going to edit my target, make sure null one selected, and analyze forward, and make sure our lips get tracked. Don't worry about that bit there, if it slips, as long as it stays on the lips, um, you should be good. still on the lip so it's fine right cool so now we're going to hit apply x and y okay right tracking data is sorted so we're going to close that for now um and we're going to go back to the beginning of the video and i'll create a new solid um i'm going to click okay right so then i'm going to switch my solid off i'm going to get my ellipse tool and then i'm just going to draw around my face just keeping in what I want to basically keep into the shots. Like so. Right, so then I'm going to turn my masking back off and then select inverted, F on the keyboard for feathering and I'm just going to feather myself out like so. And now we're going to check that. Now, as you can see, we're coming off the screen. Now the way you fix that is very, very simple. Here we've created tracking data that we're going to use for the whole project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change that solid into a 3D layer, like so. And this is where the magic begins. I'm going to parent my 3D or my, my solid to my null object, like so. Now watch what happens when we play. Okay, so that's all. Don't worry about the top and the bottom. We're going to fix that in a second. 
Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of the footage and go to where it comes off the screen. And I'm basically going to just scale that up. Like so. And then I'm just going to make sure that I'm still moving. Now we're going to go back and switch on our mask. And I'm just going to bring the feathering up. And basically recover myself as well. If, you, if you've seen Iron Man, you know that the only thing showing really is the face. Okay, cool. So as you can see, that looks a lot better. Let's bring this bit of feathering up just a touch here. That bit's showing still, so let's go here and let's just scale that up just a touch. Now bring our feathering down and just repeat that process until you've got a nice sort of black face in the shot. Just basically fix in where the feathering goes. matter if you feather your face out a bit, it doesn't really matter, because we're going to fit that with some uh, colour correction. Let's bring that up a bit more. Bring that up. Just a touch. Okay, so let's say that's the first part, sort part sorted. Uh, bring that up a bit. Okay, so now I've got some HUDs um, that I've got. I will do a tutorial fully on how to create HUDs, um, but there's places where you can download these already. Um, so if you just look on YouTube or online, you should be able to find these um, for your project. So uh, let's just add the HUDs now. I'll tell you what I'll do actually, guys. I will add the HUDs in the description below for you. So um, it'll be a media file link. Um, uh, just click on the link below um, and I'll just add them for you. It'll save you a lot of uh, bother. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my first HUD in. And as you can see, it's um, it's like a solid, a solid picture. I'm going to make that 3D layer, um, and then I'm going to get my rotation tool and just basically put it back there. I'm going to switch modes, and I'm going to change it to screen, like so. And basically, what I want to do is just move the video. I want it, so I'm just going to scale it down. Maybe bring it about here. Like so, maybe bring it forward, bring it over, and bring it up, like so. So, say about there. Now, this is set to screen, so I'm also going to parent this to my now as well. And that has already been made a 3D layer, which is cool. Now, I'm going to repeat the process for the other HUDs. I'm going to make that a uh, set it screen first actually, might be easier. Make that a 3D layer. I'm going to get my rotation tool. And then I'm going to get my Z thing and just place it where I want. And then I'm going to pull it out. It's about there. And I'm also going to parent that with my null objects. And then I'm going to add one more, say about here. I'm going to change that to screen, like so. I'm going to get my rotation tool. I'm going to toggle off and make that a 3D layer as well. Maybe sort of bring it downwards, like so. And then bring it back out using the Z axis. About there. Up, bring it there, bring it up, and so bring it to about there. Now I want to also parent that one to my old object as well. So everything we're doing now, we're parenting. Okay. Now I've got a little video here of my son. This is very easy to do. Basically, I um, just recorded a video and I changed the color to a blue, and now um, this can be screened. So if I go to screen. This is also in our shot as well. Uh, so for example, I'll put it up here. I'm gonna switch and make that also a 3D layer. And then rotate to about there. And 
then I'm gonna bring this out. So about here, make it any size you want, guys. It's entirely up to you. It's all based on taste, yeah. How you want your husband to basically look. And I'm gonna pair that one to my nose as well, which is cool. Now this is the cool bit because it's all been parented. Now wherever we move our face. Our HUDs will move as well. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm looking up there, I'm going to put a HUD at the top there as well. I'm going to make that one a 3D layer. Rotate it like so. I'm actually going to press S on the keyboard and scale that one down. Like so. I'll bring it over to about there, which is cool. Change that one to screen. Like so, let me bring it over a bit more. So it's over my eye. Now, you know, normally you would use sort of different HUDs, do you know what I mean? Uh, different styles, whatever you want, basically. It's entirely up to the HUDs. Now, this is where it gets really, really cool. Uh, we're going to parent that final HUD to our null object, like so. And now we're going to make this look very, very Iron Man y. So I'm going to set my video, right click, I'm going to go to effects, I'm going to go to color correction, and I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. And I'm going to bring my brightness down, like so, because we're in the dark, remember? Um, and I'm going to bring my contrast, contrast down um, as well. Now I'll right click on the same video layer, and I'll go to effects, I'm going to go to curves. No, actually, do you know what we're going to do first? Um, we're going to sort these hubs out, okay? Right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to hold first HUD and we're going to click hold shift on the keyboard and select all our HUDs. Like so, right click, go to effects, stylize, and glow. Watch what happens when we hit glow. Boom, all our HUDs pop all of a sudden. Now we're going to repeat the process. Select the first, hold shift down, select the rest of our HUDs. Ooh. Go to effects. Now I use video co-pilots of VC Color Vibrance for this. Uh, you can use color correction for this, um, anything you want, but it's a free plugin, so if you download it, which I'll put a link in the description as well for you guys, um, you can use it on this project, which is pretty cool. Because as soon as you select it, it gives you basically a default green, um, and then basically you can pick whatever color you want for your HUDs. I usually go for this sort of pink, which is pretty cool. Um, and click OK. Brilliant. You can also change the colour of each thing in turn. So if I wanted to, I can right click, go to Colour Vibrance uh, PC, and I could change the colour of just that single uh, sequence. Right, so, so I can make it like a light blue, um, anything basically I want. So cool, that's not looking too bad. So if we uh, play that back quickly. All the uh, digital readouts are moving um, and move perfectly with the uh, animation. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get our curves effect on our video footage. So I go color correction and curves. Um, because I've got a red sort of look, I'm going to change the RGB to a red and I'm just going to push it up and that's going to make my face red so it looks like the um, reflection of the HUD is sort of shining on my face which is pretty cool so let's go half res on that let's play it back and you can add whatever HUDs whatever sort of style um, you know move these things around and get them into positions that you want um, and just do it until your heart's complete basically mess around with it basically just mess around with it cool all right so that's basically the technique guys of creating an iron man hud um yeah pretty pretty cool stuff um now color correction is based on taste obviously it's entirely up to you how you make your character look or your face look um, how much sort of HUDs you, you you know you want, but you can sort of fix these HUDs if you scale down because it's already got the tracking data on it. Um, 
you will not affect it so you can play around with your uh, bits and pieces and it will still move in uh, 3D space um, along with your video footage. So yes guys, I hope you found this tutorial interesting. A like rating would be very much appreciated and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.